Lolita Battle Angel is a new sci-fi anime action thriller adaptation that is directed by Robert Rodriguez and is produced and written by James Cameron. I will preface my comments about this movie by saying that as you know, as you should probably should know at this point, I'm not a big manga fan. I'm not a huge anime fan. Like, I'm a casual anime fan. I saw the promotional material for this movie and I got excited. It looked good. Plus, I respected the talent involved. I said, you know what? This could be a pretty solid adaptation. So if I say something positive or negative about this movie and you feel like it reflects poorly on the manga or you're like, oh, well, okay, this was a thing in the manga. Guess what, guys? I haven't read the manga, so I'm completely ignorant. I'm probably coming to you from the standpoint of somebody who's like a general audience member who's just seeing the shit just to see it. Movie stars Rose Salazar and Christoph Waltz, among other people, also stars Ajax from Deadpool, which... I thought that was a pretty cool thing. So basically, this movie takes place in the future after this big war that was called The Fall. And there's this guy, played by Christoph Waltz, who finds this cyborg that's in this junk pile. He takes it home, he picks it up, he gives it a new body that apparently he was working on for somebody that he built in the past. When she wakes up, this cyborg is brand new. She has no memory of her life, she has no idea who she is. She takes on the name Alita, and then she starts discovering over the course of the movie that she has a lot of weird skills and abilities, like really insanely badass skills and abilities. The deeper the story goes, there's some corrupt people that are in the city who are after her for different reasons and are after some other things. And meanwhile, while all this is going on, there's somebody pulling strings in this floating city above. I forget the name of it. It start, starts with a Z or something like that. I'm not a manga fan, not an anime fan, but I will say walking out of this movie, I was tingling with excitement to talk about it because this was a dope ass movie. Dope, 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 dope. I have to start with the visuals for this movie. The visuals for this movie are absolutely gorgeous. They're stunning, actually. In fact, I know it's early. This is probably the best looking movie that I've seen so far in 2019 and I would not be surprised if we get to the end of the year and that statement still rings true. The production design and the color palette is one thing but then when you get into the CGI like the CGI for this movie is god tier. Like even though you're watching it and you're like okay this is obvious CGI it's such good looking CGI that it doesn't take you out of the movie. In fact you, you feel comfortable in this world. And if there's one thing to single out about Alita Battle Angel it is the world that they have created using these visuals. This is such a fascinating interesting world I can't wait to find out more about it. That's the impression that I hope that this movie leaves you with. Leaves you wanting to know more about this world. It actually kind of makes me curious and makes me more interested in reading the manga so that I can know more about it. So much interesting culture and technology that is teased and designed in this world. Like I just love everything about the design, about the way it looks, the way it feels, the way that people walk around and interact with each other. There's this weird relationship between people that are still living in this town and then cyborgs and technology and stuff. Speaking of Alita, I probably should talk about the main character. Now it's kind of interesting going into this movie I heard a lot of general audience people that I was talking with were kind of like ah her eyes are way too big it looks way too weird I'm kind of taken out of the movie by it I separate myself from the movie and I just give you some personal background info on me I'm a man personally that is attracted to women that have huge eyes I just I don't know what it is but I just, I love women that have big eyes. It's just a thing with me. You get into the movie and then you see her with these eyes and honestly, it, it, you don't even think about it. You don't even notice it. And that's because Alita is one of the best female characters. No, 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 not even female. She's one of the best characters that I've seen in a movie in a really long time. This is a badass female hero done right. She is such a perfect blend of confidence and emotional vulnerability, passion and intensity and badassery. I mean, she's just everything that you would want a hero like her to be. Rose Salazar really does a great job with the motion capture work here and she really does a great job at bringing this character to life and filling her with a lot of energy and a lot of optimism and a lot of curiosity. Hands down the best relationship in the movie is between her and Christoph Waltz. You kind of know where it's going and you kind of get the background for it. They do lay the seeds for an interesting relationship there. I will say that it does kind of mirror an interesting father-daughter type relationship the longer the movie goes on and you're invested in it and there's a great warmth and chemistry to the relationship that you can buy in on. Basically told you that visually this movie is eggs on a tit. No, 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 no. It's not eggs on a tit. This is full-blown omelet titties, which I'm, I'm, I'm happy that this movie turned out to be omelet titties. Seriously, it's Valentine's Day weekend. Who doesn't want omelet titties in their life? I challenge the person that doesn't want that in their life. Then when you talk about the visuals and you talk about how it ties into the action sequences, I mean, good lord, the action sequences in this movie are mind-blowing. Seriously, there are so many great action scenes in this movie, so many scenes that I'm just going to remember for like the rest of the year. I'm pretty sure no matter what other action movie I see this year, I'm going to look back on Alita and I'm just going to be like, damn, they did the damn thing. I also want to give a shout out to Junkie XL. He's one of my favorite components. 
composers working today. And as far as the music goes for this movie, the music matches the hero of the movie. It's badass in every single way imaginable. Unfortunately, even though this movie is a dope movie, just like dope in real life, there are side effects and there are consequences to messing with that dope. This movie does have a couple of problems that did take away a little bit from my enjoyment of the film overall. For starters, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed in the supporting characters and the supporting villains that are in this movie. They feel very generic, very throwaway, very one note, very disposable. Outside of Alita and Christoph Waltz's character, they suffer from a lack of characterization. They're very bland. They have very simple motivations. And there's really nothing that gets you hooked onto the other characters. And this wouldn't be a huge thing if the characters don't really play that big a role in the movie. But unfortunately, a lot of these characters and a lot of these villains take up a large portion of the screen time. So I can't get through the review without mentioning them. There was a disappointing romance between Alita and this other kid in the movie. And God bless this kid. I can't remember his name. But he's got to be one of the most bland, stiffest cardboard actors that I've seen in a really long time. And all of the chemistry is really sold from Alita's perspective. Like, Alita's the one who brings the emotion and the charisma to the relationship. Probably a combination of him being a little bit too stiff as an actor, the writing for his character being kind of bland, and then, you know, some of the line delivery. It's probably a combination of all of those things. But the point is, the relationship felt very one-sided to me. And as a result, the scenes with them, it just kind of drags the pacing of the movie down to hell. If you're a general audience member, there are going to be some things you're going to want explained a little bit more. Some things that you wish had more detail to them. You're going to be asking questions and the movie is not always that interested in answering them. Let's be honest. It's an anime adaptation. A lot of people in America are just kind of like, yeah, who cares about that? I really, really liked Alita Battle Angel. Didn't love it quite and I'm going to put it in the Silver Age for Man of Steel. Those are my thoughts on Alita Battle Angel. Tell me, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Please tell me what you think in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show and as always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.